Welcome to Jeans Reviews, where I basically do whatever the hell I want. Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Okay, today we're going to check one out from That Is Impossible. This says, mind-blowing phenomena no one can seem to explain. So, let's check it out. Glitching. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what seen that. Oh my god. It almost looks like a suit, that one. Alright, look, 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 look. That could have been added. Y'all thought I was playing. I know y'all see those lights. That okay. I don't know. I don't remember a creepy bridge. What is that? Hi, I'm James LeFleur and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most mysterious, unexplained and creepy videos caught on camera. From a very strange and unexplained transformation caught on a live concert, to bizarre sightings of Bigfoot and strange objects in the sky, and creepy paranormal experiences The concert could just be theatrics. Are you guys ready? Well, but we'll see. Let's go. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember when I was younger, I used to watch sci-fi movies or X-Files, mm -hmm. and I was absolutely baffled by the things that I would see on television. And even though I knew that those things weren't real, I always kept my mind open to the strange and mysterious things that could be hiding somewhere out there. Yeah, that one's weird. Could it be drones? Or they seem pretty high hey, though. Bro. What the f is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hear it. Yeah, that's weird. That one has little a ring little, around I it, started like observing Saturn. the sky in search for these or mysterious phenomena, side by UFOs, side, yeah, and strange things up in, in the row. sky. But it was a really rare thing back in the 1990s or the 2000s to actually capture something mysterious like a strange phenomenon, a strange light in the sky and things of such. Yeah, that's... That ain't normal. Holy Dalton, are you seeing that? Dalton. All right, look, 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 look. So look, y'all thought I was playing. I know y'all see those lights. Look at them. Not the little ones because my my little mirror thing scratched up. I know you see those right there, floating. Oh. However, in the past couple of years, things started to amp up really fast. Mm -hmm. And it's as if every week that passes, more and more unexplained videos of mysterious lights why that's in the happening. sky keep Is popping it because people are just watching more? Everywhere. That looks like just a bizarre lightning storm. And this is sort of what started to happen a couple of months ago all over the world. And it started, I understand, in downtown London on July 2023 when a couple of friends were driving a car on a rainy day. And all of a sudden this is what they captured on camera. Check this out. Mm. It's red. What is that? And there's another one. What looks like several yeah, different orbs can be seen hovering just above downtown London on July 2023. And as the people inside the car continue to record, you can notice that some of the orbs seem to disappear while others reappear. Mm -hmm. 
That's crazy. That has to be seen by more than just them, too. What is that? I've heard people say that they think it's the government actually After doing it. After the video not, was posted to Reddit, many aliens. people started to speculate that this was possibly flares or something like that. And I have to agree, it kind of does look like it. But at the same time, a lot of people were also debating on why would flares, dozens of them, show up on yeah. downtown London like this on That's a rainy too day. Many of them Not only that, it's... many people who actually live in London debated that this is possibly something else other than flares. One internet user states that it's possibly not flares from a football match because this is not a thing that they do in the UK. It could be Chinese lanterns, but there were no Chinese celebration on that specific date. And also, military flares could be a possibility, but over the capital, what would be the reason? Mm. Another internet user states that dropping 15 plus flares over a densely populated city isn't exactly a standard operation procedure outside of some very rare and unlikely occasions. This same internet user adds that they appear to be moving quickly in the same direction which flares don't do. Mm -hmm. They'd only move like that in very high wind and high winds would be another reason not to drop dozens of flares over a dense right. city. I would strange, think they would just go it? up and then down. But it gets even stranger when a couple of weeks after, a similar sighting happened near Cuba. And this is what was caught on camera. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I think they're way too high up to be flares, too. They're watching us. Unfortunately, there's not much information about this video, but what looks like the same thing can be seen in the sky. And even though there's a lot of people saying that this could also be flares or balloons, it could be something else entirely. And to make things even stranger, on August 19th, Stephanie Lynn was driving home. It was about 9 o'clock in the evening when she noticed something odd. What looked like some sort of unexplained and mysterious phenomenon happening just above the clouds. She parked her car and started to record it, and this is what she saw. Looks like something coming out of the clouds. And then back in. What would you think if you saw something like that? After being posted, I the video amassed cool. thousands of views and hundreds of comments, and internet users were sort of divided. Some believe that this is maybe the sun setting or maybe the moon setting, and it would make sense if yeah. it weren't for the fact that Stephanie was facing east, and according to her, she was very close to her home and she was facing east looking at Denver City from afar. And you can actually see that in the video, yeah. so that's basically Denver City. In other words, Stephanie was facing east and what we're looking at here in the horizon aren't mountains. These are clouds, stormy clouds, and there's right. something very odd happening in the middle of them. Other internet users suggested that maybe this could be the moon set. But I did check the moon calendar, and apparently the moon had set due west at 9.30 p.m. Mm. that day. And other this internet guy's users seem to agree that they saw thorough. the moon like due him. west at 4 p.m. that same day. So whatever is going on here, if this is not the sun setting, the moon setting, or anything like that, this is something else entirely. It's little green man. Some internet users are saying that maybe this is a portal or maybe Project Bluebeam. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? And did Stephanie actually capture something otherworldly that day? Nothing to be afraid when of, I was I much think. younger, I remember very vividly in one of my birthdays, I got this headphone as a gift. And it was something that changed my life forever. From that day on, I found myself using that headphone all the time listening to all types of music. And I guess that this is something that happens to most people when they first get their hands on a headphone. 
There's nothing like coming back from school or from work and just putting on your headphones and relaxing for yeah. a few minutes. And even though I would like to think that there's nothing mysterious or strange about the music world, it's quite the opposite when it comes to rock and roll. Well, illicit substances instance, have a lot to do with that. probably already aware that many rock and roll bands used to hide secret messages within their songs mm -hmm. using reverse speech. Bands like The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Queen, Pink Floyd, Sticks. The Rolling Stones, and the list goes on. In one specific song from the band The Beatles, you can actually hear sinister phrases being said in reverse speech. Check this out. No one knows to this day if there was something sinister about this hidden message or if it was just coincidence. Coinky dink. Or one no, of well, they songs, probably did it for, smells for like teen spirit. publicity. If you actually play it in reverse, you'll hear several types of hidden messages. No one knows if these are indeed sinister hidden messages or just a coincidence. But the thing is, if you start looking around, things will get stranger and stranger. And it's sort of what happened recently with a specific video from the band Rammstein. Now, the band Rammstein was first founded in Berlin in 1994 by Richard Crusp on lead guitar and Christoph Schneider on drums. Other members joined the band later, and their first album to hit the top 10 and achieve significant success was their second album, titled Zinzucht, released in 1997. Now, the reason I'm talking about Rammstein is mostly because there was a specific video that started going viral on social media, and many people were talking about it and how strange it was. It was first uploaded by Contacto Avni1 on Instagram, and this is the video that I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Could it just be the lights or... Did you see that? Till Lindman, the band's mm. lead singer, seems to shapeshift his eyes somehow instantly into a reptilian form. When I first saw this video, I thought it could be fake, yeah. meaning that Contacto Avni on Instagram maybe edited the video through CGI right. or video effects. And this is when I went over to YouTube and found the original live concert that happened in Paris in 2012. And when I watched the original video, then things took a very strange turn. Take a look yourself. Gefährlich ist, wer Schmerzen kennt. Vom Feuer, das den Geist verbrennt. Bang, bang. At 30 minutes and 22 seconds in the original live concert, Till Lindman's eyes shapeshift into something else entirely. And if we replay and slow-mo the video and watch closely, you can actually see the details of what looks like a reptile type of eye. What the heck <laughs> is going oh on here? And what's even creepier is that just moments before and after, his eyes look completely normal. Yeah. It's as if whatever happened, happened in seconds. And most people did not realize this. 
After the video was published on Instagram, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were sort of divided. Some internet users stated that this is possibly a special type of contact lens, or maybe even a collage of different shows, or even maybe a post edit. But it seems that most internet users were not convinced about no, it. No, I don't think Some so. Debate that there are no special contact lenses that are capable of changing that fast. Others even debated that if this is indeed special effects or contact lenses, then why only happen during two seconds in the entire live concert? Now, even though Ramstein is known for its very good live performances and special effects, most internet users do have a valid point. Why happen that fast during the entire live concert mm -hmm. so that most people wouldn't even notice it at all? So I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Is this possibly a collage, special effects, contact lenses, or is there something far more sinister going it's on here? It's a reptilian. It's the reptilian aliens, the evil ones. In the silent corners of our world, where tales and myths of strange creatures are a common thing, whispers of their existence echo through the forests. From the elusive footprints of Bigfoot to the fleeting shadows of unknown entities, our Earth holds many secrets yet to be unveiled. Ooh. And although there isn't exactly much physical evidence of the existence of such creatures, there are so many stories and strange tales of encounters that people had in the middle of the woods. That looked like a skinwalker. Tales that people can't exactly explain. Could be an alien though too. Just so you have an idea, according to the Joshua Stevens website, from 1921 to 2013, there were supposedly around 3,300 Sasquatch sightings in the US and Canada alone. It didn't look like a Sasquatch. That's a lot of sightings. And if at least 10% of these sightings are real or possibly real, then there's definitely something out there, something that doesn't want to be found. And it's normally when you're strolling through the woods, free from the weight of daily problems, that most of these sightings occur. And this is sort of what happened with the video that was sent in to the Paranormal Review YouTube channel, a channel that's focused on reviewing strange and mysterious things that happen all over the world. And in one Another specific channel, video that was recorded out. in the spring of 2015, a person was enjoying their time in Payson Canyon in Utah, when all of a sudden this happened. Okay, saw something moving up there, for sure. Quietly enjoying a good time by the river, the person notices some sort of movement and noises in the tree line just Way above. Way far away. This is when the person aims the camera and surprisingly captures the presence of some sort of animal. And this is when he realizes that he's not all alone and whatever this thing is, it's big and it's watching him. And this is what happens next. Is he gonna go closer? Whatever this thing was, it was very big. And as soon as it noticed that it had drawn a lot of attention, it paced away quickly. Mm. If we slow-mo the video and zoom in on the creature, we can see it a little bit better. But unfortunately, the person wasn't able to capture it fully. It was as if the creature was making sure that it was never seen, which is something quite common in Bigfoot and Sasquatch sightings. It they doesn't look human very though. well and make sure that no one knows that they're around. But here's the thing. There's quite a few videos out there of people who actually capture Bigfoot on camera from afar. And in this case, most of the times, they don't know that they're being watched. Mm -hmm. 
And this is apparently what happened recently with a person who was on top of a hill in Yellowstone National Park, when he saw from afar what at first looked like two bears. He caught his camera and started to record it, and little by little, he realized that what he was looking at weren't two bears at all. And this is what he captured on camera. I hope you can zoom in a little bit. Bear. Definitely see something moving, but it's so far away, I can't tell. far away even zoomed in can't make it out whatever these creatures are they're definitely pacing too quick to be a regular human being yeah it's they almost clearly like they'd be seem running. to be walking on their two feet in other words these are not bears and it seems that most internet users agree after the video was posted by the movie guy 11 on his account, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and people were completely baffled by it. Some internet users stated that it's a well-known fact that Bigfoot sightings happen a lot in Yellowstone. Other internet users seem to agree that at the distance that this person is from the creatures, their size is huge compared to a person. And most stated that they're covering a lot of ground in very short time. Meaning that this is possibly a legit Bigfoot sign. Yeah, because if it was human, you now, probably wouldn't even see it. I did talk to the movie it. guy 11 on TikTok, which was the original poster of the video. And he says that it was his friend who actually captured this on camera. And at the time, apparently, there were a couple of people very close by with binoculars who did not see the two creatures pacing quickly. However, they did see a couple of bears with their cubs on the opposite direction. And they told him that after watching his video, they were pretty sure that these were not bears, nor people. I don't think so. This was something else. Now, when it comes to creepy Bigfoot sightings, if we take a look at the Joshua Stevens map, there are loads of them, maybe even too many of them in Western United States and Canada. I know there's a lot of skeptic, skeptics and out there that don't believe in And while looking for sightings in this in region, Bigfoot, I recently but, came and across I respect your opinion, a very interesting video. But I do. Posted by Warren I think there's got to be something else. Now, Warren out Watson there. has been motorbiking for more than 10 years. I'm sure so there's he's a lot got of loads fakes, of experience. And in most of I his videos, he's usually exploring there. different parts of Vancouver Island and he focuses his videos don't on know motorbiking that's and that's there. about it. There's no way. However, in a couple of videos that he posted, strange things happened to him in the woods and he was able to capture some of it on camera. In one of his videos, he's out in the woods and this is what happens this way i think i don't remember the crossroads that's not good freaking way oh man i don't remember any of this i don't remember a creepy bridge okay you've gone into another dimension dude when motorbiking in the middle of the woods around 8 30 p.m he notices that he's lost mm -hmm. he can't seem to find his way back so he gets his phone and tries to look at the map to see if he can find a way but it seems that he can't get a good signal and can't seem to quite understand which way to go as time goes by he becomes more anxious more lost and things become creepier and this is what happens next. I think I'm actually lost. Oh, Where's this, this at? I'm getting nervous now too. This looks a lot like what happened to me in my car in Arkansas. Three percent on my phone. Okay, it's been like a hour. I'm lost. I'm officially lost. Yeah, and I and I knew started. where I was going. Just perfect. Hey, I'm lost in the woods. Two percent on my phone, and it's dark now. I got that going for me, which is great. Well, this is so stupid. No service, of course. Of 
course there's animals. Get! Get out of here! I swear to God! Oh, this is creepy oh. as AF, oh, man. Animals. Creepy AF. As he tries calling his friend without much success, Worm Watson notices the presence of some sort of creature nearby. He hears steps, and apparently whatever this thing is, it's big. Well. Now scared, he starts screaming at whatever this thing mm -hmm. is, and I guess that was a very smart move. Some internet users stated that there's a moment there in the video that they can actually see something, although I can't. I can't. There was something there with him, something big. And if it weren't for him being brave and getting the heck out of there as fast as possible, no one knows what would have happened. Now being that there are so many supposed Bigfoot sightings so in Western Canada. So he got out. Canada, huh? Get the camera straight. What is that? Damn. Go get the pistol. Go look under the seat and get the gun. Look up under my seat. Look up under the pickup seat. Get the pistol. Yeah. I don't know what the f it is, man. Oh my god. Wow. This is real, man. It could be the case that maybe Worm Watson actually crossed path with one. But I want to know your thoughts. Was it maybe a person? Was it Bigfoot? Or something else? And in your opinion, was it a smart move trying to defend himself by screaming at yeah. it? Yeah. What's your Obviously, take? I think I'd do the same thing. In the late 18th century, the United States Ooh. was in the throes of defining its identity, striving to create a unique vision for the future. It was during this pivotal time in the 1700s that the foundation of the dollar bill was laid. Complete with its intriguing array of symbols, including the enigmatic pyramid and the watchful all-seeing mm -hmm. eye. Fast forward to today, and those very symbols have become the epicenter of discussions, debates, and controversies that span far and wide. At their core, these symbols were meant to embody values of guidance, strength, and unity, concepts that resonate with any nation on the rise. However, with time, these symbols have stirred debates, raising questions about hidden meanings and secret organizations. Yeah. The idea that there might be something hidden New has covered order. the symbols that were supposed to show openness and growth with a sense of secrecy. But there's more. The dollar bill boasts 13 stars, 13 stripes, and 13 arrows. And then there's the intriguing inclusion of the owl and other concealed elements within the bill's artwork, sparking dialogues oh, wow. that stretch far beyond its monetary value. And just recently, an internet account who's been playing around with a very good microscope found something chilling on the dollar bill and the 100 euro bill. Something that's been creeping the entire internet out. This is what they saw. Check this out. Oh, wow. Spaceship. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger when he alien? later uploaded a video showing the dollar bill, something that his subscribers kept asking him to zoom in on. And this is what he caught on camera. Check this out. It's on the back of the dollar bill. I couldn't tell what that was. Oh, there's a spaceship. After these videos were posted online, they amassed millions of views wow. and thousands of comments and internet users were confused. Some believe that this is fake or edited, and it could actually be. 
while some state that they've checked this out themselves and proved it to be real. But I don't have a microscope here with myself to check right. it out, so I'm not sure. If you do, leave a comment. Have you seen something similar in the dollar or euro bill? Not only that, I went over to their YouTube channel and TikTok account and this is not the regular type of video that you'll find in their account. They usually upload daily things such as what happens to your towel after you take a shower or for example how does bioluminescence in the water look like if you zoom in enough. Most videos are focused on very interesting and daily things that we humans can't exactly see with the naked eye. So I found it a bit strange that these are the only two videos focused right. on aliens or UFOs. Meaning that this could actually be the real deal. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is just CGI? In other I think words, it's, real it's fake? Or do you think that there could be actually hidden messages and secret images hidden deep within these bills? And if so, why would this happen? That's bizarre. I, I kind of believe it. Well, that's really interesting. I kind of believe that could be something. Just because there have been like old paintings and stuff too, haven't there? Like the by Van Gogh and the Mona Lisa and stuff like that, that they actually see different aliens and stuff in and i think there's even some biblical ones some biblical paintings that have stuff like that in them that's really interesting to me i find all that stuff really fascinating none of this stuff really scares me though i'm actually more scared of our politicians and stuff <laughs> what they're gonna do to the country but let me know what you thought of that down in the comments below now you know what time it is it's time for a joke how does lady gaga like her meat ra 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 ra